what's up internet this is going to be a review of the mr heater little buddy portable heater i've used the buddy heater before in a uh, blind and basically i had to keep turning the thing off because it was actually too big to heat the blind so yeah that was kind of a pain so i picked up the little buddy by mr heater and it's a fairly simple design it just screws onto the top of a little 16 ounce propane tank so I got this because I figured it probably won't be as much overkill um, as the Buddy heater. Here's just the 16 ounce uh, camp fuel, whatever you want to call it, propane. Um, you just stick this right into the base. Take the top off of. This is always fun when these get like stuck. Always a good time. Okay, there. So we got it off. We managed to remove that cap from my propane. Okay, so take two. I found it to be super awkward trying to screw this onto the um, propane just because it's very awkwardly, um, the weight's awkwardly distributed on this. So I hold this in one hand, take the propane tank, and start screwing it in with the other hand. And then hopefully the threads line up because the tiniest bit off and it won't thread right. So hopefully we can get those there. There it goes. So it's starting to thread in there. And then obviously you, want, you can hold it this way once you get it going. Okay, so now we've got it attached together. You get something that looks just about like that. And then it's pretty simple to use. One thing that surprised me was that there's no actual like control. Um, in regard to the heat, you pretty much have the heater on or off. Okay, so now we're going to light the heater. Um, I'm going to press this red button, and as soon as we get the pilot light right there, we'll push it and hold it in for around 30 seconds. In 30 seconds, we'll release it, and then that will ignite the heater. One thing I will note is that it does take a little while for the full ceramic heater to light, and that's pretty typical with these style um, heaters. Once it does light, it puts off a fairly good amount of heat, um, and then the whole ceramic head will start to glow red. So when you're done using your heater, as you can see right here is the off button. So we'll just press that in and then it cuts the heat off. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that um, this entire head here will be hot on um, basically any place there's metal. So you definitely don't want to touch any of that. Um, but the handle here in the propane tank um, obviously don't get hot. Um, it's just kind of this metal front area where the um, ceramic heater is. To um, store the heater you probably obviously want to disconnect it um, that way you don't have any chance of propane leaking. Um, so to do that I'll just hold the handle in my left hand and then grab the base and then unscrew it. And then when you do get it real close you'll get that nice horrible propane smell um, that scent they add to it. And then I always keep the cap and then that way I can replace it just to make sure we got no extra propane leaking out of the tank. All right, so that's pretty much all there is to the heater. Um, when I get done hunting, I'll post a little update here, let you guys know how it went. Um, I got a feeling it'll be just what I need for the blind.